Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakatash. The honor to the elders of Apostle Ray Mills on coming to the will. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Ikem out there. Spread the bride to the four corners of the earth. That's fair in this truth and knowledge and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. That's your brother Mabala coming to you in another video in the spirit. And the topic of this video is going to be about. Basically, I'm going to start off with the scripture. It says, this is Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Time. Because as you can see, you know, judgment is a uh, judgment is ramping up out here. Okay. But what? You got people out here who um still not taking heed, you know, and they don't understand what's going on. Okay, but but the righteous do, you know, the men of the Lord do. We understand that these things that are happening in the earth is the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But people don't, you know, people don't think that this shit's going to ever touch, catch up to them. And uh, let me grab the scripture. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil con. So since they, they're not fully judged for the evil things that they do, they continue, they, they continue to do them, you know? Like, we go out there and we tell Jake, you know, you're, you're not supposed to eat pork or you're not supposed to be um smoking, uh, smoking in general, smoking at all, you know. Jake, you know, Jake always say, it ain't killed me yet or ain't nothing happened to me yet, you know. So, they, so what? They continue to do it. But they don't, they don't, they don't understand what they're playing with, you know. The, the Lord, first off, we're in a, the Lord is on a different timing of us, for one. And for two... The Lord is long suffering, okay? So he 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 picked the perfect timing, you know, to basically fuck somebody up, to make an example of somebody. Okay? Like that like like the rapper, uh P M B Rock who just got killed. He got killed out there in LA. So you you heard the stories about how multiple rappers have been killed out there out west, you know, especially in California. Okay, what what in it what for what? For having a jewelry, you know, having money with them, all that. So if you know that's going on, you know, and it shows you how how just stupid the woman is, you know. Because you know, there's been stories shown, um shown about how people who has posted their location or posted, you know, their whereabouts out in Cali have have got have lost their life because of that. But she wanted to show off so much about of how her how he how he was just taking her out to it was Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Like it's a chicken and waffle place. Like that's not even a uh, a high end place. It's just a regular place. But you just want to that that's just women. They just want to just want to show off. That's the mindset they're in, and that cost him his life. Because of what? Because he was out here glammed up because of who he was and be and because he had on his jewelry and he had money. Okay? But also, it's his fault too. Because him knowing that that's how they are out there, he should have, you know, went out there on, on low profile. You know, not don't have very much, don't have too much on it. But that's not how these rappers are. These rappers feel like since they have this money, that they can buy all this jewelry and they can wear their jewelry and 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 have all this money on them wherever they go, because they don't feel like they feel like they're untouchable. You're not untouchable, and that was another example of that. Okay, and plus that lifestyle is wicked as hell. So all the wicked things that they they was doing in that lifestyle, it never caught came back on them. You know they probably was was in the streets heavy. You know, got locked up, et cetera, et cetera. And they feel like they did, they paid their dues from being locked up. But that, 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 that wasn't true judgment. True judgment is when the Lord touches you and the Lord touched him. And it was his time. But he felt like he was in a good case. And, and But the Lord showed him something different. Uh, this is uh, verse 12. It says, though a sinner do evil in a hundred times and his days be prolonged, Yet surely I know that it should be well with them that fear Yahweh, 
which which fear before him time. So for the ones who truly fear you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? Because when you truly fear him, what are you gonna do? You're gonna abide by his law, statutes, and commandments. You know, like like the scripture said, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. So we're not gonna be out here, you know, basically pin a target on ourselves for the Lord to fuck us up. But the wicked don't think like that. Like like it said in, in verse eleven, since they haven't been since judgment hasn't been executed speedily upon them, they continue to do it. Verse thirteen. It says, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before Yahweh. Khan, they don't truly fear the Lord. And that's why the Lord is doing the things he's doing in the earth. That's why he's killing these people, how he's killing them. In these ways that, that got you just like, damn, when you see it. That's why the scriptures say, I brought, I started off with that scripture in Hebrews. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. He's the king of terror. He knows he 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 he, he created every being on the earth. Yahweh gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai created everything on the earth, but it came from Yahweh. So he knows every being on the earth. So he knows what you're scared of. He knows how to fuck with you. He knows what ways to fuck with you. Uh, and ultimately, he 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 can take you out whenever he wants to. He's in control of all of this. And uh, let me grab this. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Khan, he, he controls everything. He kills, he makes alive. He wounds, he heals. And it says there's no other God with me. He's, it, it, he's the one and only. There's not gods, plural, with the S. It's one God, one true power. And, that, and that's Yahweh. And there's nothing, you, and it, like it says, neither there's any, any that can deliver out of my hand. There's nothing you can do to escape the judgments of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Especially if you're living wickedly, it's going to catch it. Like it just said, it's going to catch it with you. The Lord is just waiting, to, to, waiting on his time to do it. That's why we have to make sure that, we're, that, we, that we fear Yahweh. And that's why he's doing these things on the earth, to, to, pit, that, to pit that fear Back into people. So they know that he's the one doing this. He's putting these spirits on these people to fuck these people up. And uh let me grab this. <laughs> um, this is Sirach thirty nine and twenty eight. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, and in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them kind. So there's people out here that, that are created just, just, just for judgment of others. Because it says to appease the wrath of him that made them. Because it's coming from Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this, that, this, is, this is just finally further backing up the point that this is the Lord. The Lord controls everything. <laughs> Let me come over here. Gone. This is uh, Psalms 9 and 16. It says, The Lord is known by the judgment which he execute, executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayan Salih. Salih. Salachi, if I pronounced that wrong. But yeah, and that's that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is making himself known more by the judgment which he's executing on these people. Especially on Jake. He is fucking Jake up out here. It's going to come to time 
where where is where E gonna start getting fucked up and and, and we're and E gonna catch his judgment? But like the scripture say, judgment shall begin at the house of Israel, because we're the Lord's true people. We're the Lord's chosen people. So he has to fuck us up first and make example of us, because we're supposed to know better. We're set aside from all the different nations. We're the we're the one who we're supposed to be following after Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But since we don't, he gonna fuck us up first. And then he's gonna start fucking up the other nation. Okay? And ultimately, and, and this is just to, to, to scare Drake straight, you know? To get them to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai before it's too late. Because if not, then you're gonna take part in that in the ultimate judgment. Uh, huh. <laughs> this is Revelations twenty one and eight. It says, "But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake." which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And what is the second death? That thermonuclear destruction that's coming to this place. Okay? And and, and, and he and the Lord listed them off. So if, if you're any one of the any one of those things on this list and and, and you're not trying to you're not turning trying to turn from your wicked ways, you're gonna have your partner like a fire. Which is which is that nuclear destruction which was coming to America, and we're fast approaching though that that time. So take heed to what's going on, you know. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and nothing else. Don't fear, man. Scriptures talk about how don't fear the roughly paraphrasing. Don't don't fear the one who can kill the body, but fear the one who can kill who can kill the body. And cast thy, cast your soul into hell. Roughly paraphrasing. Who has control over the spirit, over the soul? You know? Like I say, the king of tears. He can he can knock you off and keep that spirit inside of your body. Whatever way he whatever way he, he kills you, and you can feel all that pain and everything that you just went through. So fear you how about show me how was shot. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to close out. So, Lord, when this video was edifying, I'm going to close out by giving our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rokakadash, Shalom.